All right, guys, we're doing the 65th hard request on the list today. It is She Goes On by Crowded House. Very awesome song. Never heard it before. I love it now. Well, maybe I have heard it. It's kind of, maybe rings a bell for me, but let's take a listen here. go. Hello everyone, I'm Sean Cheek and welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. We're about to do the part one here, but all of the lessons for this song as well as thousands of other lessons I've done over the past 12 years are on my website, webpianoteacher.com, webpianoteacher.com. Something on there for everyone, all styles, all genres, all levels. If you are a beginner, I even have beginner lessons for you. Just look up uh, the Easy Piano Lessons on the site. Uh, there's 50 of them that will get you going if you don't know anything about music or anything about piano don't worry we all have to start somewhere now on this there's no piano in this I love doing these because you know, it's just cool to do a song that people don't think can be done on piano a lot of times um, I put I'm listening to the guitar I'm listening to the bass I'm listening to the vocals to make an arrangement for this and I'm playing the right hand up an octave compared to what the the guitar's doing. That's kind of a common thing. I'm playing it up here. If you would like, you could try this. And that will, that'll work. It sounds a little bassy to me, uh, but if you would like to do that, you're more than welcome. And this is an arrangement anyway, so I want to give you options. For, uh, what you want to do. Let's take a look on the left hand. A E A can be played here or here. I kind of like it here. I've, I've kind of grown to like it here. A E A, that's a little bit low to have a root and a fifth, but I think it sounds okay to me. Then the next one's B F sharp B there, the next chord. But you're just vamping. You're just. Oh, that's, that's uh, just vamping. right hand will have B E G sharp okay then we'll do just B E with one and two da, 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 C sharp E A there so you have an E chord to start with and then an A chord so da, 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 and then the next measure you have your B E G sharp chord then to an A then your A chord and just move your fifth finger up to B back to A and then we'll change to a B chord but let's try to get down those first two measures and go da, da, So the next measure is a B7 chord, D sharp, F sharp, A in the right, then just your B octave fifth in the left. And then da 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 da. And what I'm doing is just listening really close to the recording, and I hear the guitar do that. So D sharp, F sharp, B, I'll use one, two, four, so that I can use five on the C sharp, back to B, to A, to D sharp. Okay, so. Let's go that far from the beginning and go. Now we're going to go back to our A chord. And the right hand has the E chord da, to the A chord there. Left hand back on A, E, A. Da, da, da. Next measure, same sort of thing. Da, da, da. All right, so it's really just going from an A chord to a B chord to an A chord and just vamping and little guitar things that I put in the top there. Okay, so let's go from the beginning. One and two and ready and go. Na, 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 na. That's where the verse is going to start there, okay? So feel free to play it up here, or if you like, if you're going to do it down there, I recommend not doing too much of the E on the A chord, it's kind of 
kind of blurry. But it could work. Everybody has their own taste, I guess. So there you have the part one. And I'll see you on webpianoteacher.com, and we'll finish it. Talk to you guys later.